Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Rising World with yours truly, the Hermit Hood. Guys, I'll be honest with you straight off the bat, I honestly don't feel like recording anything today. <laughs> it's nothing to do with you, it's about me. Um, I'm just... I just feel beat. Okay, not beat in a way where I don't want to do anything, I just feel... Uh, I just got done recording a bunch of Minecraft for tomorrow, and I just, I don't know. I really don't know anymore, guys. I just don't feel like, I, I don't know how to explain it. I, I honestly do not know how to explain it. I just don't want to beat around a bush with you guys. Um, you're subscribed to the channel. You're here to watch the, the content, and... I love to entertain you guys, but today I just, I'm just not feeling it, and it feels wrong, it, it just feels wrong, and this out here, alright, yeah, I did enable fly mode again, just so you guys can see what this looks like from an aerial view, and so I think it looks okay, it could use a lot of work. Um, maybe not so much the, as min, as much dry dirt as we, as we have been using. I think we should probably pave it with concrete for, with the, not the concrete, with stone first, then add little patches of gravel in, and then walk around it, and then give it the little bit of a pound in places, rake it up if we possibly can, and just add the bumps and the bruises, then the sidewalk. Um, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to fly down here for a little bit. Show you guys what I'm thinking of doing, you know, just for today's episode. Um, I'm not in creative mode, I'm in survival. You guys can see I got my hunger, I got my water and all that stuff and things. Um, so, I was considering doing this, and I'm not going to lie to you guys. Um, I was going to do this off camera, but there's no sense in hiding it from you guys because you guys would know the difference anyways, all right? So I'm just going to do this with you guys right now. I'm doing it once. I'm doing it only once. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit F5 for terrain, and we're going to hit 3 for paint, and I am going to hit the uh, grid button, and we're going to increase the size of this thing to about right here where the road should be, and we're just going to paint it and bring it down. That way I know where the road is and where I want it to be at. That way we have ourselves a set path for working with okay admittingly yes i could probably do this in survival but i can never get a road straight at all in survival and it's kind of hard to work with a road that just doesn't want to work straight for me so from here I, what i want to actually do is i actually want to send a road back here and hopefully it goes back towards the forest. And it might be a little bit glitchy back here. So let's see here. Okay, is that aimed up proper? It looks like it is. Alright. I'm hoping it doesn't end up with the mount up against the mountains. We're just gonna find this one out together, okay? Once this is done, then yeah, I'll figure it out from there. I just want to get this road to go back here towards the forest and I'll work my and we'll figure it out from there. Okay? Because back here 
I wasn't thinking of adding a road into the forest until recently. Now, down inside of this area, what I want to do is I want to add some garden plots in this area. And I don't want these garden plots to be, like, very huge. I don't want them to be very big. So, what I would do is I would probably reduce these things to every single crop there is. So, let's see here. Um... Uh, let me see here. What is there? If I hit, let me see here. If I hit F6 and we hit tab, we can actually scroll down through these and see what all plants there are in the game that we can use. Okay. So there's tomato, carrot, lettuce. That's three. Now count along with me. Broccoli is four. Potato is five. Strawberry is six. Watermelon is seven. Pumpkin is eight. Hemp is nine. Cotton is ten. Corn is eleven. Beet is twelve. Chili is thirteen. Okay. Is there anything else? No. Okay. So let's head back over here to F5. And we know now that we need 13 small plots. Nothing really big. Nothing too small. Something that we could actually just work with. Alright. So we want 13 small plots. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to measure these out. Little by little. I want to actually be able to put a uh, path in between each and every single one of these. I'm going to measure these out. I, I do got to chop that tree down because it's going to get on my nerves. So we're going to come through here and chop these trees down. With the chainsaw in survival. So we got one, two, three, four. Let's go ahead and move this one up. That'll be five. Let's see if we can bring this one over. Keep it in line with the other one. Six, seven, eight. This one's up against the hillside over here. So let's bring it over here and let's do nine. Let's do 10, 11. Let's do 12. Let's do 13 and one more in case we get wheat down the road. We'll have 14. Okay. So these will be our crop plots right inside of here. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit F4 for default, which is going to get rid of this. And what we're going to do is we're going to hop down here. We're going to get into survival mode and we're going to clear out a lot of these trees. Okay. Because they're going to be in our way. So let's get F2, let's go ahead, let's get out of creative mode, which is GM0. Let's go ahead, let's go into settings, let's turn off the fly mode, and get back into the game, and let's do this legit now, okay? Now, like I said, the reason I did this is because I wanted to get things out of the way, and... It was just starting to uh, aggravate me a little bit because it was, it just started to aggravate me a little bit, guys. I needed, I wanted to get this road done, but it was just a little bit difficult to get it done the way I'm used to, and... <laughs> I mean, I'm used to getting things done a specific way, and I can't, sometimes I just can't do that. I cannot get a straight road done in survival for the life of me. Not without putting blocks on the road, and I, I just don't want to put blocks on the road. So, because we can't put blocks on the road, we went in here and did this in survival, in creative mode. We just laid down the groundwork of where it's going to be at. 
and we're just going to clear out the trees, clear out the vegetation of this. It looks like we've got ourselves some maple trees. We even got ourselves a maple sapling on that. Off of one, that's the first shot on that. That is our first maple tree. I don't have a clue where that thing even came from. We got a rowan bush. We'll just go right on ahead and remove that. We got a uh, orange, our first orange flower. Really nice. Um, few more wood. We're going to need this stuff anyways. This way I can amp up production and get the road done without having to deal with a lot of this. It's just in the way. This thing, uh, just get out of here. Um, now, as far as where we're going to store a lot of this food that we're going to grow, um, we're, we're going to have to build a barn for it because I want to store the seeds. Seeds will likely not be affected by the by the next update it's basically all the food that'll be affected i mean because that'll add decay and all that other stuff to it so yeah that is something i actually want to keep an eye out for is for the decay let's pull this out of my hand here for a minute because i'm gonna have to go through here now and pull all of this out of here just to make sure that we have all this and you know I, I just want to make the area clear get it good so we can get ourselves a nice good framework built around all of this down here um i just want room for all of the crops okay and that's what this is all about it's just getting getting the road situated get it in place we can add ourselves little sidewalks in between everything and I apologize that we hopped into creative for this. I just want to get it done. I just don't have a lot of time today. And I'm just not in the mood for... I don't. I really I don't have a lot of time for this. I screwed around in Minecraft all day today. And it just like... <laughs> when I hopped in the rising world, I was just like, okay, you know what? We're either going to do this the fast way or we're going to do it the slow way. And I was like, you know what? Fast way it is. <laughs> and I was going to, I figured I'd just explain it to you guys in the uh, comments as to why we're doing it this way. And hopefully you guys can understand because I don't want to lose you guys as subscribers. I mean, you mean a lot to me. I just wanted to get this done. And I wanted to bring you guys in here and let you guys enjoy this with me. And this is probably about the best way I can do it. Because you guys mean a lot to me. Without you, I wouldn't be where I am today. And I will be trying to do a lot of this in survival mode. There will be times where I will just get upset and hop right into creative mode and get something done. If I can't figure out how to get it done in survival at all, or if I'm pushed on time that I have to get it done. Now, I'm not going to be spawning in ores or anything like that. I don't do that. I mean, I'll climb underneath the road and I will rip the road to shreds with my mining hand, with my mining drill before I spawn anything in. I won't do that. Uh, that's just not me. That's not the way I do things. Um... This is different. This is us just trying to get ahead, trying to, you know, get some things done so we could keep doing some work. Now, that lighthouse, I had a really, really good suggestion from one of our subscribers to that we could add a small house over there. And we might do that. We might do that. I got to finish up the lighthouse. And we can work on that as well. This is something I just want to get done because I don't want crops growing over there by the lighthouse. I don't want them growing in the middle of the road or anywhere else. I just want them out of the way. And this seemed like the proper way to do it is just... 
Well, Peggy, you might want to move. <laughs> this just seemed like the proper way to do it, is just get over here and build it and get it over with. And I didn't want to do this off camera without you guys. It just felt wrong to come in here and do this. And you know what? I'm sorry. Really, I am. I just, I'm aggravated and I can't believe I spent from 9 o'clock in the morning till 2 o'clock in the evening trying to create an episode that would actually, I'm hoping, actually get some views. Um, I, I love modded Minecraft, guys. I don't see any mods on Rising World that actually says, Hey, looky, I'm awesome. I really don't. I don't see any mods like that on Rising World at all. And it's, it's a shame. And every time I play the game, I'm like, you know what? I really wish that was in here. And I don't see it. And I'm, I'm like, ah. Uh, why can't we have mods like that we see in Ra Minecraft in Rising World? Okay, why can't we have that? You know, I wouldn't mind it. Maybe some new foods, maybe some wheat in this game. I mean, we got a grinder that tells us we can grind wheat, but it's not in the game. <laughs> and you guys just seen it for yourself. There's a total of 13 crops, but wheat is not one of them. And does that not make you scratch your head wondering, well, what is there? <laughs> Alright, get that hodgepodge out of the way, or whatever that thing is called. Alright, uh, is it getting late already? Seriously? We just can't down here. Forget that. We just started the episode. <laughs> like I said, I'm aggravated. Just <laughs> deal with it. I'm sorry. I just want to come in here and record an episode without dealing with all the nonsense of the time just speeding along faster than Minecraft. Could you please cut? Thank you. So we got to get all our crops down here. We got to build a barn. Well, I'm not going to build the barn today. My goodness. No, I can't do that. I got to get some of this stuff done at least. Just clear it out. See what we can get done. We got to level it out a little bit. I don't know what level we're going to do some things at. Hopefully we don't get Yogi Bear that comes flying out of that forest. Because, well, flying out of the forest? Yeah. If Yogi comes flying out of that forest with wings, I'm going to ask Red what the heck was he thinking about. <laughs> Honestly... If I see a bear come running out of that forest with wings, I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna go over to forums and I'm gonna with a screenshot. I'm gonna be like, Red, why is there a bear with wings coming out of my forest? <laughs> if you guys aren't familiar with Red, Red Fifty One. He's a developer for the game. He is the sole and one and only developer that makes this game. And he's done a superb job on this. I love this game. If it wasn't... If he didn't make this game, I don't know what game I would be playing. I'd probably still be playing Minecraft every single day or maybe something else. But this game came along and I said to myself, yeah, this is me. I love it. It's... Peaceful. I don't have to worry about a creeper coming along and blowing up my farms or anything like that. But at the same time, it's very fun. It is. Really, it is. We'll have crop failure at one time or another, but you know what? Right at the moment, we don't have that. 
and we're getting entirely too close to that forest for my comfort. We might have to go build a gun. We have the materials for it. Cows, I am going to pen you up and you are going to stay there. That's what we need to do. We need to build, we need something to pen these cows up. Yogi, you better stay in the woods. I don't expect you, you know what, move or I'm going to turn you into a steak dinner. Thank you. Nothing some A1 sauce can't figure out. Yeah, that's what I thought. Me and my butcher knife, we... Mm, mm, yeah, uh-huh. That's what I thought. All right, let's finish clearing this out. And yes, all right. Let's get this thing out of the way. Give me that chainsaw. Can you pick that up, please? Let's get these trees out of the way. Now, as far as a tree farm, I'm not too sure how I'm going to work out. The one thing I'd have to say is I'm happy that I can actually... <laughs> Get this thing up and going. Over here is where my mine is, and no, it doesn't have a single torch in it. Get this stuff cleaned up, get it going. We did good, we did good, we did good. Nice. All right, get these things out of the way. Pull this out of here. I mean, this is just me. I want to get organized. I just don't want my stuff all over the place, guys. I, I want it organized. I can't do that with this stuff everywhere. And I just want my crops organized. I want them put away. I'm sorry if... <laughs> if this feels wrong to you guys. But I wanted that road out of my way because of it. Alright, anything else? Any more trees? We got we got some flowers. Alright, we can scoop these things up. We can come back through here with a sickle for everything else. Um, any hodgepodge or junk in the roads besides this stuff? Let's see here. We got this. We got that. We got a rabbit. Uh, we scared the bunny. That's okay. It's not like they're... They don't really drop anything at the moment. We got a sheep. They're coming over here. They, they smell a farm. They smell a farm coming in, guys. That's cool. I like that. Let them come. Clear the road of all the junk. Oh, yeah. And, oh, my goodness, I completely forgot to send the road that way. You know what? I'll work on that later. Just not right now. So what I do want to do is I want to be able to send the road, bring it down here, send it that way. We're going to have to bring it with it. Turn it into stone and then add gravel patches to it. I thought about doing the entire thing with gravel first and then adding the uh, patches to it. Because you guys can see, I started to go the wrong way with this. And I got a big patch of stuff right there. And then you come over here and you just look and you're like, oh, well, the road was supposed to be over here. What was I doing over there? Even I can't answer that question. I can't. Honestly, I can't answer that question. What was I doing over there when the road is supposed to be here? And it's actually supposed to 
shoot out that way as well. That way it can head back to spawn. I really can't answer that. <laughs> I mean, you can see where the road is. It, it's supposed to come down here and then go left. So we come down the hill and what was I doing right here? Of all places, what was I doing right here? You can see the bank, how it goes down. So what was I doing right here? I don't know. Here's where the road is supposed to be. What was I doing on the bank? <laughs> what exactly was I doing on that bank over there? I can't even answer that. Oh, honestly, I can't. <laughs> let's let's just get let's just get back to camp. Let's just get back to camp because I I don't even know. I can't answer that question. I just want to go empty my inventory, go get my uh, sickle, and clean up all of that stuff that's in the way. Hi, Mr. Chicken. How you doing? All right. Oh. And then we got to come across that with stone and maybe. Yeah, so we're going to do it with stone, and then we'll do the road. We'll add the patches of gravel and light very light patches of of the uh, dry dirt so I'm gonna need a lot of that and I got a lot more wood I can put away now cool all right so let me go clean that road up guys and I'll be right back all right guys you know what I haven't even gone down there yet to be honest with you I I decided I was gonna do something um let's see here um Let's go inside of here. Let's grab ourselves a chest crate and let's craft this thing. So what I did is I grabbed all of the seeds because we're all evidently we're going to be craft picking up all the seeds that are down there already. And I got some broccoli seeds over here already. We're going to scoop those things up. So let's go ahead. Let's pop up over here. Let's put this in here like a so. Let's head over here and let's use our scythe, which is right here. And let's scoop these things up. Give me my seedlings. Give me my strawberry seedlings. Strawberry, strawberry. Nice. And then we got this, this, and this. All right. Nice. And we got broccoli. We got broccoli. Nice. That's our first broccoli of the season, guys. But we also have... All of the seeds now, and we could actually go clean up the road. I'm going to take my horse with me, and we're going to just run because he's got infinite stamina. And that means we can get this job done a lot faster. <laughs> I mean, obviously, yeah, it might sound a little bit cheaty, but you know what? We can, we can get this Got, we can get this job done so much easier now. Just grab the pumpkin seeds, grab it all, hop on the horse, keep going. And the sheep are spawning in. They're moving along. Oh, yeah, this is going to be easy. Let's see here. What do we got? We got more carrot seeds. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Do, 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 be, do, do, be, do, do. Okay, what, what do we got? Mm, cotton seeds. All right. Uh, you can throw that cotton out. We really don't need it right now. And there's your white horse. There's your buddy. You want to say hi to her? There you go. You want to say hi to your horse girl? You want to say hi to your girlfriend? Hi. You want to say hi to your girlfriend? Here, go talk to your girlfriend. I'm going to go clean the roads. Just don't get that just don't get ahead of yourself, okay? You having fun over there? Aw, oh, listen to them talk. He's happy. <laughs> listen to them horses talk over there. We got our sheep. She's like, meh. <laughs> Are you gonna take care of me? Yeah, we'll take care of you. Get this hodgepodge out of the road. All right, let's see here. What all do we got? We got carrots. We got more white flowers. Some more white flowers. I thought we scooped all this up. Listen to them over there. Those horses, they're just talking it out. 
Either that or he's angry that I left him. <laughs> he, ah, suck it up. You'll be fine. All right, give us this, uh, give us this pot or uh, hemp and, uh, all right, give us this. Give us this. All right, come on. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give we got pigs over here. All right, we can grow. We, we got all the animals. We got pigs. We got sheep. We got cows. Hmm. What is this? This is tomato. More broccoli. Nice. Tell me that was a broccoli seed. Well, if we got the seeds, that's fine. All right. So we need a place to put the seeds at. Just temporary until we get this worked out over here. Um, let's see here. We'll take this. We'll place it maybe... Huh. Where can we place this? Because we're going to need to build a barn over here, guys. Let's see here. Let's place it right about here. All right. And we can just go ahead and dump all the seeds in here just like so's. All right, so that's all the seeds. I'm going to go ahead and come over here on this end, and we're going to just dump the raw materials in here over here. And you can see right now we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Well, actually, te technically, technically, we got 1, one and 1, 2, 3, 4. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nope, that's not a plant. That's an else. Okay. All right, we got. What in the world's going on here? Okay, so some of this stuff has already reached its stack limit at 32. All right, so we got one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We're missing two more plants. Um, yeah, I'm so sorry, weather. My computer cannot handle you. Thank you. All right, and... Now the only thing that's left is to just grab this and we can start leveling this out some. Now I'm thinking some of these plots we could raise it or we can drop them. This one looks like we could drop it some. Of course we're going to end up with some wormy worms around here. We could just raise it all to one level and add some and add some border around it. That actually wouldn't be too bad. Let's see here. What about this one? We could raise it or we could drop it. This one looks like um hmm yeah this one definitely looks like it could be raised and then this thing could be dropped out all right so let's go ahead let's raise this one up and we'll use blocks to uh create like a deck around here maybe not so much as as blocks i'm thinking maybe we could use um um, let me think here. I'm thinking two by fours. So what could, what kind of block in this game could we use that would symbolize a two by four? I'm thinking, um, I'm thinking about, let's, let's, let's think here for a minute. Let's think here. Okay. So. What kind of block in this game would symbolize a good 2x4 for us? Um, what about beans? Okay. 
What about beams? Not, well, not beams, but uh, what about planks? Okay. We could use planks. We could use planks. We could put them right up against it. Yeah, we could use planks and put them right up against these things. Let me go get some. Let's go try that out. Okay, so a plank texture. Instead of a beam, let's try a plank. Let's go to construction. Let's try these things. Could you please stop turning? All right, so something that would stick out, not too blatant, not too... Ooh, I like that one. All right, let's see here. Let's do max. And yeah, here we go. All right, so we got some of these. We're going to use these around the gardens. Yeah, that should work out nicely. Um, give me my bed. And let's go hop on our horse and go for a ride. All right, come on, buddy. Let's go. Giddy up. I said giddy up. What the heck? You know, we'll sit there and stop and like, hey man, don't can't you tell the sun's going down? Yeah, we ride into the west. We ride into the night. Yada da. Let's go. Come on. Yeehaw. Let's go. Where's your girlfriend at? Ah, uh, there she is. All right. You go talk to her. Uh, nah, I didn't stay to, okay. Yeah, you just chill over here with your girlfriend. I'm headed down here. Hi, Mr. Sheep. <laughs> So let's head down here and let's try some of these planks out. Ugh. Arr. Hardy, har, har, har. Hardy, har, har, har. All right, let's get my bed. And we're going to, evidently, we're, we definitely are going to need this thing down here. You know, something that we can just go to sleep in in case we uh, die. If a bear comes flying out of the woods like it's screaming, Hey, I'm Yogi. Would you like to play with me? Uh -huh. Like, uh-huh, yeah, I'll think about that, uh-huh, and let's go ahead and hit page up on this, and, ooh, yeah, okay, I'm loving that, I'm loving this, look at that, look at that, guys, all right, so, <laughs> hush, All right, let's get this thing to its longest point. Let's bring it out here and all right. Let's flip that thing around. What we want to do is kind of just build a frame around this. You know, have it stick out maybe just a little bit. Maybe not too far. All right, yeah, that kind of looks like it was nailed in. There we go. So this is what I'm actually looking for, is to be able to put these things together kind of like this. Bring it in. Yeah, kind of like this. All right, let's take a nap. Because I can't really... S well, I can see, but... Now you can't see nothing. <laughs> All right. All right, let's not laugh like that again. Let's just... Okay, we're doing better. All right, let's see here. How does this look? Uh, not quite the way I imagined it to. Um, let me see something. Um, okay, we might be able to get away with this. But we're going to need to bury this with poles. Something to separate it off. So if I take this thing and we bring it to like this edge, like right here. 
So I want these things to overlap, okay? I want them to overlap, and I want them to overlap for a reason. All right? I want them to overlap kind of like this. So that whenever I bury some poles around this, All right, now that one is just a wee bit too long. So we got our uh, thingy. Yes, one. Hit that control key and push that thing down. There we go. Now we can do this. Yeah, that's all it takes. It's just a little something, something like this. The only reason it was overlapping back here was because of that pile of dirt in the way, which we could take care of in just a moment. All right, so we kind of want to bring this one out to about here. All right, and maybe not so much so. All right, let's unlock that and let's just... Yeah, let's do one of these and see if we can get that to line up. Well, that didn't even get lock in proper over there. No wonder. <laughs> All right, let's try that again. All right, hit that control key, page down that thing to get it in there in, in the first place. How does that look up against this? Not half bad. That actually looks like it fits. All right, let's go ahead and bring that in just a wee touch. Let's unlock it and let's go over here and let's see about bringing this part in right here. All right, let's just get this thing in place, lock it with control. We're going to hit page down. And that right about there looks good. All right. So this would be like our two by fours. They're just like kind of slipping up in there. Let's go ahead. Let's see if we can get some of these things to like uh, unlock that first off. And let's see if we can get some of these things to like kind of whoops. I uh, didn't mean to do that. To like kind of lip over it. 
like this. You know, give it that like old, broken down, hey, I'm old and I'm out of style and, you know, just give it that kind of boxy like look. You know what I mean? Just kind of like this. As if we're just trying to box it in. Yeah, like that, like a that. Uh, that one stuck out a little bit too much. I think they both did, kind of. All right, let's go ahead. Let's yoink this one. And let's yoink this one. And we'll have to use a different kind of board for that, maybe. Um, this will be. Let's say this is what our gardens are going to look like, all right? Let's say this is what our, each and every single garden crop looks like. So let's just go right on ahead. Let's do this. We'll say this is what this garden looks like right in here. We'll go ahead. We raise this side up like right over here. And right outside of this one. I could actually just take this thing and just go, get down, get out of my way, boy. <laughs> I guess just do kind of something like that right there. All right. So this would be like one crop plot right here. And now on the X side of this thing, we can come across it and do something like this. And maybe bring some stone or something up against it. And border it all with something like totally different you know add something unique to it and what i was thinking of adding unique to it is this all right this is what i'm thinking of doing this is what i'm thinking of doing let's go ahead and get me some grass um let's do this right You know how to get multiples. You do it like this. All right. Now let's go ahead and let's hit three. And let's head over here and let's take a look at this now. All right. So this is the middle. We go ahead. We put this up in here like so, like right up against it. We'll say this is the bank. We go ahead, we put the grass in, kind of like this, all right? Now what we do is we grab number one, and we just right-click on it to mow it down. It gives you additional blades of grass, but at the same time, it gets rid of all that tall grass and makes it look really nice. And it gives us a nice, good grassy appeal to it. And that's kind of like what I'm thinking of doing right there. Give it all little boxes, all of these plots. Give them all little boxes. Well, e each of them will have their own little path kind of going around. So, yeah, kind of like this. We have short grass for it all. That way it's not completely bald around here. It actually looks nice. Yeah, I see my character thirsty as ever. <laughs> but I think this will work out nicely, guys. I want to hear your thoughts, opinions, and yeah, I don't have enough time for recording, but yet I can do 40 minutes of it. <laughs> I want to hear your thoughts and opinions on this, guys. Till next time, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoy this. I'll see you guys on a flip side. Check you later.